Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you use find element and find elements commands in Selenium web driver? Let me answer. First of all, coming to the find element, it can only find one element. Okay. You have to pass a locator to this find element. It can be either XPath expression or CSS selector, ID or name or whatever it is. But even though the locator has the capability of finding multiple elements, this find element can only find only one element. Okay. So whether you pass a locator that can locate one element or multiple elements, doesn't matter. Find element can only find one element. Okay. Coming to the find elements. Okay. As the name speaks elements, that means it can find more than one elements. Okay. Only the thing is that we have to pass the locator. You have to pass the locator, which is capable in enough to locate multiple elements. Okay. Then find elements can find multiple elements. That's the difference between find element and find elements. Let's use this find element and find elements in Selenium web driver in a practical way. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID here in one of the test method. I'll write down that. Okay. So here I'll write down some Selenium automation code. Okay. So I'll write down like this web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Now hold the mode on web driver and import it from Selenium library. Similarly, import this Chrome driver also from Selenium library. Okay. After that, write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then write down driver dot get give the application URL that you are trying to automate. Let's say I'll take this application URL my dot blogspot dot com. Copy this URL, paste it here. Now, I would like to type some text into this text area field. Here, only one element is there. So, I'll create a locator for this, uh, for locating this single element. Okay. I'll inspect this text area field. Uh, it has an ID. I'll copy this ID. And here, I'll use driver dot find element first command. Okay. Here, first command is find element. This is how we have to use here. The locator we have is uh, ID locator, ID attribute value is there. I copied the ID attribute value from here. And here I'll write on by dot ID. And in double quotes, give the ID locator. This locator can only locate one element and find element with the help of this locator will find only that element. Okay. Single element dot. What need to be done on this element? Send a keys. I would like to type my name into that element. Harun. Okay. That's it. So. Now let's run this and see whether find element thing is working or not, whether it is able to find the element and uh, type the text. This argument text are run into that uh, text uh, area field. This is one example of find element. You see in that text area field, my name got typed. Fine. What's the next activity that I want to do? I want to demonstrate you the another command that is find elements command. Okay. So what uh, example I would like to give here is, uh, for example, there are uh, this many number of, uh, or else there are some unordered list, some fruits are there. Okay. All these names of the fruits I want to print in the output. Okay. So I'll inspect this. Okay. I'll go to the due tag. And uh, is there any proper locator here? No, here H2 tag is there, an ordered list kind of text is there. So I will create an XPath expression out of this. And I'll create a XPath expression in such a way that XPath expression should be capable enough in locating multiple elements at the same time. Okay, I'll show you that. So simply say Ctrl F, H2, double slash H2, text is equal to an ordered list, if I remember. And let me inspect it again and see what is this unordered list, right? This one you give it here. Now it's locating one element under H2. There's a due tag. Okay. Under H2, there's a due tag slash uh, following hyphen sibling colon colon div. You see, with the help of this one, I located this one. And under this, we have the li tag double slash. Under the li tags, we have the 
under the li we have this apple and all those stuff okay apple apple mango and all those stuff along with the marker something is there this uh dot dot apple dot mango dot orange like that okay so here i'll simply say dot uh like okay so here this x path expression is locating how many elements six elements one of six one let's find it out what is what is one this uh locating now apple then next one mango orange banana grapes pomegranate like this it's locating all the six six elements okay the single x path expression is capable enough in locating multiple elements not with one element multiple elements such kind of x path expression if i give into the driver dot i should not be giving driver dot find element i can give still but it can locate only the first element that is apple apple element it will locate with find element because find element can only find one element but find elements is a command which can locate multiple elements which can find multiple elements by dot x path give that x path expression which is capable enough in locating multiple elements and simply say okay that's it okay driver dot find elements now this find elements will return you a list of web elements. instead of single element it's returning you the list of web elements so here i'll say fruits fruits is equal to pour the mouse on the fruits and click on create local variable kind of thing now i'll write down some loop for each loop or something for each and every element is a web element so web element web element ele colon fruits list of web elements is fruits okay for each and every fruit or fruit you can say otherwise it will be good fruit element this is now i would like to get the text between these tags so what i'll do here is system dot out dot print ln fruit dot get text fruit dot get text like this retrieve the text between the tags now after that i would like to go to the browser and uh, this will be working this is one of the example of uh, how to use the find elements now run this and see whether all the fruit names got printed in the output console or not errors are there where, where are the errors okay yeah yeah, I would put a semicolon here. I forgot to put a semicolon. Done. Error gone. Now run it again. You see, all the fruit names got printed in the output console. Apple, mango, orange, banana, grapes, pomegranate. Just see here. Apple, mango, orange, banana, grapes, pomegranate. So hope guys you understood how to use okay how to use find elements and find find element and find elements in selenium web driver so that's all for this session thank you bye bye